This piece of fabric is going to become a ruffle on a tunic that I'm making. I've already pieced it together using the overlocker. It's several strips from a shirt that I've cut up. It's actually the sleeves. As you can see, we've got these little tails from where I was overlocking before. I find these actually quite useful to help hold it flat. The cross piece flat. This line here is where you're in line with the knife blade, which is here. I've overlocked all along both edges, I've overlocked all the pieces together before overlocking the edges and I've now pressed all of that as well. So now we're going to find the gathering foot and put it onto here and gather this together. To do this you'll need the screwdriver and this, which is the gathering foot. That's my little mark on the side, ignore that. It's got a slot here. And it's a low shank, I believe, um, which means it, it goes onto there instead of snapping onto here. It's not a snap-on foot. I'll show you it from all angles. I find a lot of videos don't show you the foot very well. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to put it on. First of all, I'll take the other foot off. This machine is a Brother BC2100 computerised machine. It's not a particularly fancy one as computerised machines go. I probably wouldn't know what to do with it if it was. Be honest. So it's as simple as that. Just unscrew the screw on the side, take the snap on connector off, and keep those two pieces safe, or you'll be frustrated later. And the screwdriver. So this little beast is going to gather for us. What's very clever. I don't know how this does it. It gathers underneath here and you can put a piece of fabric in there, probably not when it's been overlocked, maybe, yes, and that will sew straight. I'm not demonstrating that part today, but it does sew the two pieces together. I'm upside down at the moment. Okay, here we go. If you have it on the longest stitch, apparently it will gather the most. So I'm going to try it on the longest stitch. I only learnt to use this stitch, this foot, yesterday, so this will make it horribly wrong. We will try it. Make sure I put my foot on the right foot underneath, because sometimes I think my machine isn't working. And that's why. Here we go. video is on a very wobbly stand right in front of the sewing machine. It's not the most ideal setup. How it 
does that, I don't know. You can see how incredibly easy to use this is. And it makes a ruffle. How clever is that? I think that's magic. So I shall carry on sewing this. And then later I will attach it to my tunic.